Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Team Khalid YouTube channel. My name is Renzo and today we've got another video for you guys. And this one, we could have planned this one earlier, but we want to know what the prizes are like in the first coming days. Now they are pretty set in stone for the first couple of days until at least the full release where everybody gets access to the game. If you have the ultimate edition, then you can literally play as we speak. So hopefully you guys are already playing and grinding and hopefully getting some pack luck. But today, like I said, we'll discuss some starter squads and tomorrow we'll be featuring the first tactics that you can use with these starter squads. So like always, sit back, relax and enjoy. All right, so starting off, we've built some teams for you guys and um, let's start off with the 50k squads because I think most of you will have access to a 50k squad, right? Anyways, starting off with this team, um, this team is pretty balanced. It's not the craziest of teams. I mean, there's a lot of chemistry issues in FIFA 23 right now. We have to consider that a lot of teams won't be easy to get on 33 chemistry. And we are not sure yet if it's really mandatory, but hey, from previous experiences, we want to have at least 33 chemistry. So, starting off, we we'll use Brill and Bolo. He's got three star skill moves, which doesn't make him the best player, but he's pretty, pretty pacey. And especially if you're just planning on completing the, the single uh, player uh, objectives, for example, like FUT moments, squad battles, he'll do for sure. Gabriel Jesus, great player, also in uh, in online games. He's not too expensive, he has four star skills. He's got good dribbling, good finishing, and good pace, and he links fairly well. And then we got Bergwijn, also four star skills, not a best of weak foot, but this team, like I said, is fairly cheap and also very pacey overall. 82 pace, Mateus Nunez, this one is, is just going to be solid, especially for his price tag. He's not going for a lot, like 3 or 4k, I think, right now. And Zakaria, he's going to be probably the most expensive player in the squad here. Um, and yeah, you just have a great, great midfield, very well defensively, and also very pacey. Also very tall, 6 foot and 6 foot 3. So, Gelson Martins doesn't have 5 star skills anymore, which makes him actually fairly, uh, fairly cheap. 90 pace, 81 dribbling. Just a very good player overall. Then we got Omar Weindorf for the links with Bergwijn. Just a solid left back, nothing really special. But if, if you're looking at all these players, there also are a couple of high, high work rates, um, which can be always useful uh, from previous games. We'll have to see how it works out in these games uh, on FIFA 23. Jurian Timber, this one is like a hidden gem, I think, possibly in FIFA uh, 23. 82 pace, 81 defending, 81 physical, and watch this, guys. This guy is crazy good. Um, also for the Dutch national team as both Ajax. Saliba, uh, yeah, also he has not been uh, on the market too much, but Wednesday especially he'll be for sure uh, coming a lot on the market after the new team of the week gets released. So maybe he's going to be a bit more expensive than planned now, but maybe you should wait then. Uh, and then Mbabu and Lafon to finish the squad. And I personally pl just play like a 4-4-2 with this squad. You could maybe also play a 4-1-2-1-2. Um, but yeah, that's just personal preference. Then moving on to 50k squad number 2. And this one you can get for a fairly bit cheaper. I think this one costs like 35k at the moment. Um, and yeah, just looking at this squad, this one especially I'd recommend if you uh, if you just want to start playing as soon as possible. For example, grind the FUD moments, grind squad battles, maybe some online division rifles. Um, because my, you start off with Mala. Mala is a great car, four star weak with four star skill moves. And I'm just going to give you a little uh, tip of the of the toe already. It is pretty much. Anybody can score right now. The goalkeepers are not that great and literally you just press shoot and you, most of the well shots actually hit the target and then they go in. The keepers don't save too much. So shooting, yeah, not maybe the uh, the best stat to look at right now. Force of skill moves, force a weak foot, AA pace, 83 dribbling, can't really go wrong with Mahler at striker. Then Zaniolo, force star skill moves, three star weak foot, but he's very tall and he's left footed. 
he's just very very good for only like 2k you can even play him on the midfield so he's a versatile player Danjuma, four star four star as well i pair these up with uh at striker positions with uh, donya mala and then for example zaniolo at cam if you're playing a narrow formation Pellegrini, just a great card, high, high. He's just very solid. You can play him as center mid easily. And these position modifiers, by the way, I forgot to say, are going for around 1k. So you have to put every player on their position to get the chemistry right. And then you uh, possibly have to put on a manager um, from some squad, um, from some nation, sorry, and the league to finish up the full chem on these squads. For example, Uskan here. Uh, he would need a position modifier change to center mid. Also a great defensive minded midfielder. Pellegrini would be your more box to box kind of guy. B, very pacey, just insanely quick. Um, and he just, like I said, he doesn't have the best of shooting, but he has good dribbling, he's very pacey. He will fit the meta for sure right now. Um, Alberto Moreno, not the best of left backs, but like I said, you need him to get full chemistry. If you don't feel like getting full chemistry and you maybe have a bit more points, and you could look maybe for a, the uh, Jordi Alba, uh, but he won't get the full chemistry for Dan Juma and etc. Well, Pau Torres, same kind of deal. Not the best option in La Liga. Um, and maybe then you could go for Araujo if you plan on getting Alaba, uh, Al Alba, sorry, I sh should say. Um, just to get a little bit more, well, better stats on the pitch, uh, but they will cost a bit more. Then Endika, yeah, this is just the Bundesliga has a crazy amount of center backs that are pacey and strong and have decent defending, uh, so he won't be too expensive either, and he's just a great card. Frimpong, possibly the best ba right back uh, in the Bundesliga, and yeah, he's just got insane pace, which will definitely suit the meta right now, because pace is really what it is at right now. Um, and then Concigli in goal. He's just going to be the one that fits uh, well for Saniolo and Pellegrini. So you can probably substitute him with any Italian goalkeeper from the Serie A. So, um, that's the 50k squads. Then, 100k squads. Alright, so starting off Rashford here. You would change him as well to, um, to a striker position. Such as Neres, you would switch him to the left side. And this is a team with five-star skillers. So this is for the players that like to do skill moves, but also, well, looking at online, you always want to be able to surprise your opponent. So skill moves are heavily needed. Just, just to be sure that you can do them, even if you don't do them. And that's why these uh, squads usually cost a bit more. Rafa, fairly decent option. You can use him, well, Probably as a right mid, I wouldn't necessarily play him up top as a striker, or for example. But like I said, the shooting stat doesn't really matter right now, so hey, why not? And just a fairly decent card overall. But then this guy. This guy is insanely expensive right now. He's like 50k, but he's definitely worth it because the stats are just insane. Renato has always been good, and he links up very well for this squad. I'm going to explain to you. He is necessary in this squad, and that's why this squad costs 100k. Will he be worth it? I can't say as of yet, but it looks like he is. If you don't want to spend this amount of coins, but you do like this team, then you could substitute him possibly for a Paris Saint-Germain midfielder, or I don't know if there is a Portuguese-French uh, competition midfielder. But look at it and see if you can make it work out. Great card, obviously, Renato. And Kamara, yeah, this guy, he's not special, but also we're going to need him for this squad, for the chemistry. And like I said, there's plenty of options for all of these cards that we've shown and that are showing right now, but you can substitute them if you're okay with playing a little bit less than 33 chemistry. Carlos Soler, this card looks fairly, fairly, fairly decent. I think this card will be a bit uh, better going forward than defensively. Um, just because of Carlos Soler's body type and he doesn't look too great with the defensive stats only 74 interceptions so um, yeah Malasia just a very good option for the Premier League left back this year fairly decent pace not the best but hey he's only like 5k so it's definitely worth it and then Ake well you see what what's going on here Premier League Manchester uh, doesn't link up though um, and, that, and and both from the Netherlands, obviously. 
which makes it good for links and they're decent cards Lucas Ferissimo this card looks very good um, not commonly used links up perfectly with David Neres um, but yeah 81 pace 80 defending 81 physical can't really go wrong with him then Mukiele, he has 78 pace not the best for right back options I personally sub this guy for off probably um, and put a faster right back in but he you need him from chemistry for chemistry and then Pope to finish it off in goal so then last but not least another 100k option um, we also have a 500k option but I'm gonna go buy that one a bit more quick so here we have this possibly my favorite squad although I don't know if it really will work but just yeah the players that are in it are my uh, more personal favorites Lautaro, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, looks really good, just maybe lacks that little bit of pace, but he should be fairly decent, especially for the way that teams are, can be set up right now. Paulo Dybala, doesn't look that special anymore, only 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot, should have a really good dribbling and decent shot, and like always, he could be a very good creator at least, and possibly a camp position. Rafael Leao, this guy, this guy looks really good. Four star skills, four star weak foot. I personally put him as a striker in this team. And then Dybala, for example, at Cam and Lautaro. If you notice what I'm hinting at through this, uh, throughout this video, the narrow formation looks to be really good. I'll have a video on that tomorrow. Tonali, he's going to be an insane midfielder throughout the year. Just very well balanced and he's fairly cheap. Links up very well in this entire squad. Uh, and he even has better links, which you'll see in the 500k squad. Just a very solid option throughout. McKenny, also this one is like a cheap beast. 82 pace, 80 dribbling, 78 defending, 83 physical, 6 foot high, high work rates. Can't really go wrong with this card. And he shouldn't be too expensive because the Serie A isn't the most popular. Rafa, again, he's in there. Just a very good option to run down the wing. Decent passing, good dribbling. Can't go wrong with him for like only 2 or 3k coins. Grimaldo, a very good left back, links up for the Benfica squad here. Gonzalo Ignacio, this is what the La Li uh, Liga Nos actually has to offer. They also have some decent centre backs, not too high rated, but good defending and good pace for sure. St. Just, 93 pace. This team is very, very sweaty. Except for maybe the front, uh, front three, you won't see them too often, but they're very good as well. So, hey. I'm, I, I want to see if people are going to use this team, how you're doing. So leave that in the comments. Because Quadrado here to finish it off with the goalkeeper makes it just a really sweaty team. And Adan is just in there for the chemistry again. Alright, so finishing this video off with the 500k squad that we have here. And look at it. It looks beautiful. It looks very good. Starting off with Rafael Leao again. Like I said, this guy is just, he looks solid. He has great links. Moving on to Erling Haaland. I mean, this card, I just, his dribbling, he usually won't feel too great on FIFA, but I don't know this year. Maybe his physical and his pace will just be really good, especially like I said, the way the game plays right now. So that's why I put him in here, because I think he's going to be very good at the moment. Uh, he, does, he does lack the skill moves, obviously, and the weak foot, but my god i want to use him um mares this guy just a perfect perfect camp to be honest especially for this game five star skill moves four star weak food using down the wing can be a bit tricky because he lacks a little bit of pace but his dribbling and skill moves will surely make up for it tonali again like i said this guy has just good links rafael leao and we'll get to the other options right now Bellingham, four-star weak foot, four-star skills, just a solid card, nothing spectacular, but just a solid card. Bellingham has, felt good last year, I assume he'll be worth it right now. Only is like 25k, so hey, it's a fairly decent option right now. If you got more budget, you maybe want to look at like Goretzka or maybe Leimer and Klosterman, um, but I'll get to that. Because we have Emre Can here, only 20k, look at this card very good and if you uh, like I said for Bellingham maybe find a better option you can just use Emre Can and Tonali and then possibly put an attacking player at that central attacking midfielder position like Nkunku if you have a bit more budget um, but Emre Can looks like a solid CDM crazy good card um, costing like 25k as well so he's just a really good option at the moment and then Teo Hernandez this guy Insanely good left back, possibly the best left back 
Um, together with Monty and Davies, obviously, but stats wise, I think this one is going to be the best. Um, and like I said, the linking ability for AC Milan players is just so good. Tonali, Tomori, Hernandez, and even Leao are just great, great cards. And this Tomori card, he looks scary. He looks very scary. 86 pace, 86 defending. If you can get him in your squad, then for sure do so. Schlotterbeck, Emre Can, Bellingham. Just links up very well. Has decent stats. 84 defending, 82 rated, 76 pace, which is okay. Uh, but like I said, if you have a bit more budget, maybe you can look on different options there um, together with Bellingham and Rachan, etc. Walker, I mean, what else do I have to say? Just a very strong right back, 91 pace, 80 defending. He's always been good in every FIFA, so why not? And then Anderson to finish off the chemistry, to get 33 chemistry in this entire squad. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty long video, but I always want to give detailed information about the squad. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check you guys in more videos the upcoming days and especially check it out tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.